We tried a number of things, changed a lot of things, but nothing seemed to work. We have some very difficult decisions to make over the summer. That's if we survive even. Let's go to the video. Hello and welcome back friends and visitors to Rodney Parade Newport. But before the video today, I just want to say a quick message about something that I feel very passionate about. Chronic heart disease is a silent killer and you never know who it's going to affect next. I certainly wasn't expecting it to be me. So I've decided that should this channel make money one day, whether that be £5 a week or £600 a week, I will donate 70% of that money to research into this very worthwhile cause. I got a lot of support. So subscribe, watch, like and comment and help me to help others who may be afflicted by this terrible, terrible condition. Okay, so now let's get on with the video. And if you were with us, if you have been following, you'll know we are in a dreadful place in terms of um, our performance on the pitch. And uh, things actually couldn't be any worse at the moment. <laughs> they could, I suppose. We could be in the relegation zone. But we are just, um, we are just above the relegation zone. And uh, we are actually, though, 10 points ahead of Millwall um, as we go into our final four fixtures. Uh, our fixtures are difficult um, in, in the run-in, but I do believe we are safe because Millwall have got a lot of ground to make up. We have to assume Millwall are not going to win all of their games. On the pitch, we have tried so many different things. We We've had to rely on this park the bus tactic. And I wanted to just try um, to see if we could get out of this using different styles. And we've tried pushing the lineup. We've tried shorter passing. We've tried all sorts of things, but nothing seems to have, have worked. And we're going to go back to park the bus um, for the, for the run-in. Um, after we um, left you with a 1-1 draw at Swansea, we lost to Blackpool. Uh, we lost to Fulham after we had a man sent off 10 minutes before the end and we were 2-0 up and lost that somehow. We drew with Birmingham, which was a good point to get, um, and then lost um, at Wigan 3-1. We had another draw against West, West Brom. We are, West, we are draw specialists and West Brom um, were fourth. We tend to do very well against teams higher higher up in the league and Ipswich we lost 2-1 um, and that was followed by a 1-0 defeat at Sheffield Wednesday. We have not won in 10 fixtures. We have not had one win and we've had four draws and it looks like six defeats in the last 10 matches and uh, things couldn't be any worse but we have a very important game coming up now away at Reading um, Reading, who are just above us, um, and it's a fixture that we could get something out of, but I don't feel like we're going to get another point for the rest of the season. And I think that FM is just going to let us survive this year, and um, this is uh, the last chance saloon for us, and FM will punish us if we don't do something drastic next year. In terms of the squad, you just saw the morale is, is fairly good and, and the dynamics is still very, very good and I do have um, the support of the team somehow despite the problems that we're having on the field. Maybe because I have tried to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe because we've tried to do one or two things and we failed at it, but at least we tried. And so, um, the game against Reading. Let's um, have a look at what the team is today. In goal is Day, Dehaney, Pask, Boyle and Lewis make the back four. East at defensive midfield and Livermore, Hackney and Sweeney in midfield with Nuttall and Abraham returning to our original two strikers up front. And we did have a team meeting and we told them, I'm not expecting you to win. There's no pressure on you. Um, uh, with the hope that um, this might 
have a positive effect on them today. We're just trying to take the pressure off them. Uh, I think we're going to survive. I try to get that message across. Um, and hopefully we will. Um, and as long as they perform well out there, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think we're probably going to be okay 10 points in front of Millwall um, with four games to go. I can't see Millwall winning all four of their remaining games. And um, so we are underway here at Reading. And uh, let's see what we can do. Um, and we are... I think going to get the first highlight. Now, this is a bit of a shocker. As Abraham, um, he takes it down the right. And he finds Dehaney. Dehaney back to Abraham. Abraham to Livermore. Looking for a bit of a game from Livermore today. And Nuttall's in the clear and Nuttall has scored. And we have, after nine minutes, we have taken the lead at Reading. But I'm going, trying to contain myself because I've seen this before. In the last 10 weeks, we've gone ahead and then lost 3-1 or 4-2 um, or even worse. And Nuttall just calmly dispatched that. Great assist by Abraham. And Livermore was very much involved in that build-up too. So a very good start. But here, here come Reading. They have a free kick and that's swung over and uh, easy for Dehaney to mop up. Long ball forward by Day. He keeps doing that, which is which is not what he's told to do, but I think it is a problem with FM22. The goalkeepers don't seem to do what they're told very often. Um, and um, here come Reading again. They're building slowly from the back, and that's a beautiful ball out to the left. And uh, he will look to get a cross in here, I'm sure. But that's a good block, but it's fallen again to a Reading player. Um, and... He's looking for support. Can he get it? That's a good tackle, but support's arrived. And that's a cross into the box. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going in, but we've got away with that again. Aaron Lewis is not the tallest on the back post. Um, and uh, he's uh, certainly not going to be winning many aerial battles today. Um, but we are surviving. Uh, 31 minutes are gone. And we are 1-0 up still, and uh, cross fingers. Um, this park the bus style that we've been playing in the first half of the season was very successful. Although we drew most of our games, it, it was the most successful style that we've tried to play. Um, and here come Newport again, and that's a beautiful through ball, and Abraham is in the clear. Can he score? Yes, he can. <laughs> it is Reading nil, Newport 2, and this is one out of the blue. <laughs> Not quite sure what is going on here, but if we keep doing this, then we will be safe today and we will not be relegated. I mean, that looked relatively easy, a very slick passing movement, and Abraham was put in the clear, and that's a devastating finish into the bottom corner. And so it's Reading nil, Newport 2. And, um, well, I, I'm very, very pleased to be 2-0 up at this point. It just feels very nice. Um, and I haven't been able to say that for a long, long time. And as Newport come forward again, it's Abraham. Abraham, we are dominating this game at the moment and finding it very easy to open up Reading. Lewis, Lewis looks for Livermore, but that's too far. It's gone beyond him. Livermore, though, takes it down the right. Livermore, can he get a cross in? Yes, he can. And oh, what a turn by Abraham! <laughs> that is 3 0. This is territory unknown. 3 0 up before half time. But what a turn that was by Abraham. What an assist by Livermore um, to begin with. A brilliant cross from the tire. And that turn just left the defender for dead, gave him time, and he picked his spot. What a brilliant, brilliant goal. Unfortunately, um, he might be one of the players I have to make a decision about. Um, we may have to sell um, Abraham to, to make some cash in order to take part in the transfer market. And he is, without a doubt, our most valuable player. Um, and so we'll have to see what happens in the summer, some big decisions to make. But Reading are still pressing. They're trying to find a way through. They are not lying down. 
and accepting this defeat they're, they're going at it and uh, but we are close to half time and as long as we can make it to half time we will be okay um, and uh, we certainly don't want to give anything away here as Reading look to find space in the box and there's a cross and we've given away a penalty Boyle has given away a penalty right on the stroke of half time and this has let Reading I see this being a 3-3 draw or something now Reading are back in the game he's put the penalty away there was that was never in doubt and and I wonder is this going to now are we going to collapse as we've done in the past um, or are we going to um, about one of the things that worries me is that we now have Boyle on a yellow card and um, that is half time and at half time I think what it might do is actually swap Boyle out um, we've had a number of people sent off for two yellow cards over recent weeks and I'm just going to take him out of the team um, and put in Parker um, because I can't risk another sending off <laughs> at this point <laughs> and then we will go and lose the game again um, but here come Newport we're still in this game what am I worrying about? What am I panicking about? We're 3-1 up. We've got the ball. And, uh, well, we might have got the ball, but that was a good header by Abraham. Abraham Hackney. He's... Oh, and we're in the clear. It's Abraham, and he should have scored. He should have scored there. 4-1, and I would have been able to relax. 3-1, and I still can't relax. We are the worst team in this league by, by anyone's stretch of the imagination. And no game can I relax in, no matter what the score. And here's East. East plays it back. Parker picks it up. And Newport again have a free kick as Lewis drives in the free kick. That's a great save. And Reading are easily able to clear that. And here come Reading on the counter attack. We do not want to concede. Um, I've been tempted to go more positive, but um, we are not moving out of this park the bus shape. It's working. The counter attack is working well against them. And uh, we're just going to just keep going, keep playing this way. And we're going to uh, make a couple of changes here. And we're going to bring Sterry on. And we have brought Matt Dolan on as well. And we're going to try and see the last 13 minutes out. And um, here's Nuttall. He gives it back to Lewis. Lewis finds Sweeney to Dolan. And this is nice. This is what we should be playing like. Pass the ball around. Um, and then what normally happens is that when we start to go more direct, it's very direct through the middle, just like that. And here's Hackney, and he must score. And he's blazed it over the bar. But that's a perfect example of how our park the bus tactic works. Soak up the pressure and then hit them like that on the break. And here's Lewis with a long throw. I have never seen anybody throw the ball that far in my entire FM history. That is one long throw that Lewis has. In fact, it's too long for even us. And, and Parker finds Lewis, who finds Nuttall Sweeney. This is good football. This, what, where has this been? And Hackney lifts it over the bar yet again. And oh, if only we had played some, more like this, um, uh, we would have been a safer a lot longer. But we have won this game. It's Reading 1, Newport 3. And we can confirm that we have avoided relegation. And we're going to tell them, well done. Um, there is no way now we can be caught. There are three games left and we are 12, 12 points clear of Birmingham. And it looks to me like Birmingham, Millwall and Portsmouth have been relegated. We are safe. But that does mean that we have enormous problems coming up um, over the summer, our wage budget is so small, there's very little that, that I can do in terms of bringing players in. Um, we have three games though yet to complete um, this season and uh, we'll come back for the Nottingham Forest game 
at the end of the season and then we will do a season review along with that um, which won't be very pretty I don't think so we'll scoot, scoot through that as fast as possible because I don't think there's really much to talk about this season it's not been on my greatest season ever and the, uh, the least said about it the better I think um, and so that's it for this video the great news that we are safe um, and we have to go through all this headache again during the summer and over the course of next season. But we will not get a let off next season unless we do something a little bit better than what we've done this year. And uh, don't forget, support this worthwhile cause um, that we are trying to support. Subscribe, watch, like and comment. And all that remains to be said now is we'll see you in the next episode.